baby. Get it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're working on the Suzuki Swift and we're going to do a quick service. Now on the service I'm going to do the air filter, oil filter and oil and um, yeah just give it a little once over. But first I want to, um, it's been a while since I've done a video so first I want to have a quick look at you know who's commented on my previous videos and give them a shout out. So we are well on our way to 3,000 subscribers. We're just about to touch 2,900 which is awesome. I um, do want to give a few shout outs to Jap Junk um, there's also a Scotland Joss and another couple here, let me have a look, I didn't do a shout out for the past two videos. And if you can't guess, I am actually putting off working on the car at the moment, simply because it's 4 degrees C. 4 degrees C in Fahrenheit, I think it's 38, 39 Fahrenheit, not nice. <laughs> it's bitter, there's a really bad like northerly wind as well. Um, shout out Hook Tuned, Average Drift and Techwood123 as well for commenting on the last couple of videos. Now I do normally give shout outs on the videos, um, shout outs obviously if you want one. Drop a comment below on this particular video, happily give you a shout out, especially if I've not seen you on the channel before. Um, there are a lot of people that I do see in there frequently, I talk to them on Instagram, stuff like that, and I love it. Um, and I do give shout outs to those that comment more frequently as well. I just like to give shout outs, you know. I think it's nice that if you guys are watching the channel, watching me, commenting on the video, you know, helping me with the YouTube algorithm by giving it a like and subscribing, things like that. It's the least I can do, you know. Anyway, let's brave this cold weather. Now, fast forward a little bit. I've just replaced the air filter because it's nice and easy. It's up top. Here's the old one for reference. Absolutely filthy. Look at that. Shocking. <laughs> So uh, now it's get the front end up, get the oil filter off, get the oil out of the car and uh, get the oil changed. So rushing ahead once again, the car's jacked up, I've got my carpet here but this isn't for me, this is more for the oil should it drop onto my freshly tarmac to drive. Cannot be having that. <laughs> I've also sort of unplugged the dipstick and loosened off the oil cap there just to allow um, the oil to drain out of the engine nice and smoothly. I don't want it to be glug glug glugging you know out of the engine because it's got like a bit of an airlock um, and it's created like a vacuum, you know a vacuum within the uh, sump. Sorry the wind just taking my breath away for a minute. <laughs> but yeah I don't want it to create a vacuum in the sump and the oil filter is very nicely located just there. Carpet directly beneath it so I'm gonna try and wangle off the oil filter knock that nut off, drain it into the uh, the drain bottle. These, by the way, absolute cheat code. So it's a, it's like a petrol can, but it's got a built-in drain. A little drain plug there. But yeah, so you unplug it, drains the oil in, and you can stand it up on its end, and it's uh, sealed, nicely sealed. Um, and you just pour it out into the waste oil container at the local tip. So yeah, really good bit of kit. I think they cost about nine quid on eBay. So much I paid for this one anyway, but I've only ever used it once before. Normally I just go to my dad's and he's got like something similar. Um, but yeah, really like this. It's like an all-in-one bit of kit. Ideal for a service or two because it holds um, nine litres. So yeah, I'm going to uh, crack that off, crack that off. So everything's tight, the new oil filter is on, the sump plug's tight, I'm going to jack it up, drop the car down and fill her up. So there's 
Swift's done. I've also sort of jetted down the uh, the driveway just to be doubly sure that there's no excess oil left on the drive, you know. Just to be safe. It's a freshly time that drive. And I don't want to I don't want to have to retail my drive at the cost of three grand or whatever the hell it was. So as you saw, I've given the driveway a quick jet wash. Um, I say jet wash, I just sprinkled over some washing up liquid and used the hose pipe, you know. But um, I'm confident that there's not going to be any residual oil sort of left over on the driveway. I did my best, my very best to make sure that we didn't get any on there, but there was a couple of little sprinkles as the wind was hitting the bloody oil as it was coming out of the sump on the, uh, coming out of the, sump on the Suzuki Swift, so... Not good, not ideal, but that's just how it is at the minute. It's freezing, it's really cold. It's nearly, it's getting on now, it's quite dark. It looks quite light on the camera, but if you can just see in the mirror there, you see that the sun's coming down. The sky's actually amber. <laughs> so, so you can see that the sky's getting very dark at the moment and really, really early as well. I mean, I started this at half two, it's now 10 to four. So, you know, just over, an hour, an hour and 20 minutes or so working on the car and that's including getting all the crap out of the house and putting all the crap back in the house, you know. It's not as easy as just working in a garage where you just pull things over to the car and push things back away from the car and then back into drawers and stuff. I wish I had some sort of unit, especially at this time of year where because of the reduced hours of, of daylight, because of the temperature dropping so much as well, it just really, really hinders content to you guys, to which I'm sorry. But yeah, it's just, it's just part of the past, I suppose, being a YouTuber, especially in the UK. If you lived in somewhere like San Diego, for example, where it doesn't get colder than 17 degrees C during winter, and it peaks at 25 during the summer, you know, it's, it's a lot easier. Definitely a few advantages to living in particular places, especially the cost of rent as well for units over in America is a lot cheaper than here in the UK. Anywho, next for the Honda Civic Coupe then, just sat you down on the steering wheel, but next for the Honda Civic Coupe then is gonna be lowering springs with the DC2 front shocks. I need to give them a bit of a polish over. I'm gonna see if I can gun them off, you know, the top hats without actually using like spring compressors and stuff like that. So that'll be fun. <laughs> um, but um, I've done it before. I'm sure I'll be uh, more, than, more than easy, more than an easy feat and um, doing it on my driveway. But got possibly a couple of things to do before that because I don't really want to be, you know, rolling around on the floor in this weather. You know who does so one of the next things i think for the channel will probably be some interior mods maybe for this particular honda civic build so that's it for this one i'm gonna wrap this particular video up over here though to my side are a couple of playlists if you want to check out more videos on the channel please consider doing so hit subscribe beneath me if you haven't done so already and click the bell button as well so that you're notified of my uploads because if not they just disappear um nobody gets told about them apart from those people that hit the bell so hit the bell Hit like as well because it does really, really help the YouTube algorithm. And as I mentioned before, if you do want to shout out, drop a comment be below, you know, let me know what you thought of this particular video. Very much more of a talkative video, very much of a chatty video, and that might be how the videos end up going, maybe more vlog style sort of content rather than just car content of me working on cars. I do really want to get into that. I think that would be more of the move, especially at this time of year, maybe go to a few more car meets and stuff like that, cars and coffee events early on in the morning. Anyway. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.